What's up, snipers? Sniper Nick here, and tonight we're gonna go over the watches for tomorrow morning, which is Wednesday, April 28th. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome, guys. We get together every single Tuesday night, and we do this video together, and we talk about three to five hot OTC stocks that we're watching for continuation the next morning. For tonight, we actually have three stocks we're gonna talk about. We are in one of them overnight, and if you've been with us, you know that our overnight plays are intended for you to sell it the next morning. So we'll be able to talk about our plan on our overnight play. We actually bought it in the last hour of the market, and we're looking to sell it within the first hour tomorrow. So we'll make sure we break down that plan. And then we got two other pretty exciting stocks to talk about. Before I dive in, I do want to give a quick shout out to the Sniper team. I always like to give a shout out. Uh, if you're following us on Instagram, you already saw it. Big shout out to our boy Sniper Maddie J. The man himself. Uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out. Matt, good job, man. I think you might have been with us every single day since uh, since you signed up a year ago, man. You're always in the chat with us. You're always grinding with us. So it is awesome to see this finally pay off and you're actually able to turn in what you started with, $750 into $13,000. Unbelievable, man. And um, it looks like you're really starting to get it. That's the more amazing part about it. Uh, it's just the start for you, brother. Got the whole team behind your back. We're all here supporting you. And the way that you're trading and the way that you're finding the patterns and the stuff that you bring up in the chat, some big things are coming your way, man. No doubt about it. There will still be hard moments, you know, as you're trying to make your way out of PDT to get that 25K. But honestly, I think it is going to be a little bit more smooth sailing for you throughout this, uh, throughout this journey now. I think you passed the hard part. And now I think uh, you're in a good spot. And... Uh, Congrats on the on the wins today that you even had in the chat. Matt has known us since high school, so this one definitely uh, hits home, and we appreciate that you uh, that you've been supporting us and you believed in us and you gave it a go, man, and you stuck with it, especially at the beginning when it wasn't hard. So big shout out, Sniper Matty J. Let's keep it going. The rest of the snipers, we saw some pretty nice bags. Sniper Randy, three thousand dollars today. Are you serious? So good job, guys. Let's keep that going. Let's keep the momentum going in the chat and. Uh, reach out. If you guys need any help, reach out to us. We're here for you. Uh, but anyway, for everybody else, for my YouTube team, let's go ahead and let's dive into the watch list for tonight, which is Wednesday, April 28th. All right, snipers, let's go ahead and let's dive into the watch list. On the left side is our watches. On the right side is TD Ameritrade Snicker Swim. We actually only have three stocks tonight, so tonight's watch list should be pretty quick. The first stock is the stock over here to the right. It's actually a stock that went overnight. And we bought this stock, let's read about it in our watches. We said it's an OTC lithium stock, and we bought it today in Power Hour, that last hour of the market, at 343 as it was broken out of its multi-month resistance, and then it held that resistance spot all day. So looking at the one-year chart, it looks like that resistance spot is 340. The next major resistance on the long-term chart is the 52-week breakout. So that's pretty interesting to see. So we got a multi-month breakout with the next resistance being a year breakout. This was the one day, one minute. As you can see, that 340 spot after it broke it in the morning, it came under for a second, but really just held it throughout the rest of the day. Came down and tested it again around power hour, held it. So this is a clear support spot. You have a risk set before you get in. That's the biggest thing about trading with us. You want to be able to learn how to create a plan so you can control your risk. And as the stock starts to creep up a little bit in the last hour, we actually waited. We gave it a lot of time. But at 340, we saw some bids starting to stack on the L2, and that's when we gave our swing. We ended up buying it at 343. And look at this, didn't get much of a push, but it did get a push to the high of the day, and that's where it closed at. We're looking for this one to gap up and then get a push so we could see how it could test that 365 spot. We got this 340 spot as our clear support. So yeah, let's see. Ideally, again, we get that gap up and then it pushes to that 365 resistance so we can see how it can act there early. All right, this next stock, MNMD. This one is on the watch list just because it's so interesting. It's definitely the talk of the town right now. MNMD is actually a listed stock, but just yesterday it was an OTC stock. So this rarely happens, but it actually did happen today. An OTC stock was uplisted and the OTC stock before was MMEDF. It is now MNMD. It is trading on the NASDAQ. Today was the first day. This is the day you're seeing here. We just wanted to put this on the watch list because we've actually traded MMEDF multiple times and we've had very good success because that chart has been a steady uptrend. The reason it's been an uptrend is because the company is actually the first psychedelic company to step into the NASDAQ. All right, so this has never happened before. Very interesting to see a new sector start to heat up. So check this out. This one had a lot of hype. 
going into today, going into listed land. I mean, look at this. The stock was just at two bucks, and in two days, it got all the way to five. Now, for us, we're just watching it right now. It's awesome to see a brand new sector. Um, because it is listed, you know, we're not really too interested in, in playing it anymore because, you know us, we like to stick in the OTC land. But it did get a really big dip, especially from the fives and even where it started in pre-market in the sixes. So if this one actually panics again tomorrow, that could be interesting. If this one dips down and breaks the 375 support down here and starts to get a panic, then we may be interested. Um, but for now, this is just awesome to see an OTC stock become a listed stock. Um, it's a brand new sector. There's a couple other little mushroom, little psychedelic stocks in the OTC market still. So be on the lookout. We wrote them here and we actually played two of them the other day. So be on the lookout. Write these ones down. If MNMD starts to heat up again, watch these ones because these ones run in sympathy with this stock. And that is PSYC, RLFTF, SHRMF, and LKYSF. Mushrooms are starting to get legalized, which is pretty crazy in the United States. So keep an eye on these as mushrooms keep getting legalized. As last but not least, we have SHMN. And this one is on the list because they came out with news this morning and they spiked 130% this morning. Um, it was just a sub penny. So it did push into penny land. It is pretty cool to see that and pretty cool to see the movement here. Um, but it is up too much for us. This is an overextended candle. And as you can see, after all the big green days on the year chart, there's usually a red day. So for us, for tomorrow, we're actually looking for a panic dip buy on this stock, SHMN, tomorrow. So there's a couple of snipers that bagged this today. Congrats, sniper team. If it does panic, if the sellers step in tomorrow, now this is a fresh breakout, so it could continue tomorrow. But when the panic finally starts, we're going to look for a near support that it made today. And it looks like it had some support around the 0.011 area, around the 0.01 cent area as well. And that is 40% away from where it closed today. So if it comes down around there, it looks like there's some support around the 0.0091 area too. So be on the lookout. You know, you'd be surprised. You don't think it could dip this much, but you'd be surprised with these sub penny stocks, especially that break a penny in one day and end up having these huge runs. You'd be surprised with all the people getting caught up up here. If sellers do start to step in, how big of a drop it can have. So if it does have that drop, let's watch it. Let's see if we can come down to these support spots, you know, in the low one cent area to see if we can get that hold and the turnaround and the buyer step in for the quick bounce. So let's see if we can get that. All right, Cyber Team, as always, thank you guys for tuning in. We will be doing this every single Tuesday night for the rest of the year. So make sure you hit subscribe. Send us a like if you like the video. And uh, if you really like what we got going on, we got a website, www.thestocksnipers.com, where we actually post this watch list every single night. Thank you guys for joining again. I'll talk to you guys next week. Sniper Nick is out.